this is a 4-in-1 electric hair shaver. This is the C6386, as you can see there. And it costs around about £24 to buy. And as always, I will stick a link in the video's description so you go and check it out. I bought this for my wife, so it's a lady shaver or pedicure, depending on how you want to word it. Uh, she doesn't want to be in this video, so I'm doing the video right now on my own. <laughs> and I'm not going to shave my hair. Well, actually, I am. I'm going to shave you just a bit there. And uh, just to show it working, see how well it works. And also, it's a dead skin remover. This thing can remove dead skin, like on the bottom of your feet, and that when you've got all that hard, rough skin. This might be the perfect tool for you. It's also waterproof, apparently. And it has an LED display on it, which I thought was quite nice. And it's supposed to be waterproof. So nothing much to see around the box. Everything seems to be on the front. So with that, let's get one done. It wasn't sealed, by the way. It came in an Amazon box and was like this. In there. So obviously the user manual. I will read that later. So this is the main body. Yeah, it says on uh, Amazon that it is waterproof. Obviously, you don't want to get water in there, though. So it's probably just splash proof. I don't know. So it's got a little plastic cover on there to protect it or protect you. That's quite rough. It's very rough, actually. Not sure how easy it would be to remove. So you just press that button. Oh, there you go. Now swap her over. Did it go a certain... Oh, right. Got to make sure the gears go around the gears. So it's left to go that way, I would have thought. Push it on. Get that in first, I would have thought. I don't know, I'm only guessing. Should have read the instructions. Oh, we've got to hold the button back in. Okay, so that's not so rough as that one. That is really rough. That's not so rough. That's quite easy to do. <laughs> I ain't got a clue what the next one is. But it looks quite vicious. I will read the instructions in a bit. But let's have a look, play about it. Ah, that's it. I've got it sus now, see. That looks vicious. It's like a torture chamber thing. And then you've got this one. Again, make sure you put it around the right way. Oops. That's quite easy. Does it turn on? Oh, it does. Got two speeds, by the way. And that's it. Speed one. V2. And I'm assuming that's just for your battery life. I'm assuming. Could be totally wrong, but I'm assuming. So that is the four heads. It has four heads on it. It's four in one. And I'm putting the original one back on for now. Like I said, I will read the instructions. I'll just get that in. That's better. It's quite easy to do. You've just got to make sure this ends in first. Oh, I've got a little light as well. Didn't realise that the first time there. Well, there you go, little light. So really easy to use, put the cover back on. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, power lead. So looking at that, it's a USB, so you plug it into your USB device, say like your your phone charger, something like that, and then you just plug it in the bottom. So first impressions, it does feel like nice quality stuff actually. I will have a measure up on how long that lead is. Oh, and it comes with a little brush for giving it a little clean. That's very nice. So with that, what I'm going to do is read the instructions and find out how easy it is to use and what part I need to use on this. I'm going to shave this off. Trim these up. Or shave them off, actually. Just to show you what it looks like. Because my wife doesn't want to be in the video. And I thought, well, I can't make her do it. She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't have to do it. I'm not going to force her to do it. She has her own mind. She does what she wants to do. So with that, I'm going to sit down, have a read the instructions, and I will be back and do a test. Like I say, I will trim up my hairs on my hands just to see how well it cuts. And for those who don't like feet, I will do the feet as well. Or not trim the hairs off my feet, but do the hard skin or do some of the skin just to see how good or how painful it could be and I will stick a warning up there and say feet coming or something like that <laughs> so with that I'll be back 
the instructions wasn't very clear on which ones I'm supposed to use for, and what they're supposed to do. But this has got to be for the uh, hairs or the fault. So I'm going to try this one first. Make sure you put it around the right way. So make sure you connect it in properly. There you go. Nice and flush. So we're going to try it on my hairs. I'm going to try it there first. And then on now. Actually, I think I should move my mat out of the way. Works pretty good, doesn't hurt at all. And look, hairs. Let's try on back of my hands or my fingers, I should say. Okay, turn it off. Oh, it's faster. Brush, you can brush. So, hairs removed, hairs. That's pretty good. Obviously, if you've got a few left over, make sure you get rid of them all. Does the job now? I'm gonna to have to do the other hand, didn't I? Can I get my ring off? I doubt it. No, definitely can't. Not at the moment, anyway. Fast speed. Oh, it works better. Yes. Definitely a faster speed works better. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that clean off. Yeah, it works really well. I mean, look at it. Look at the hairs. Clean them up. So, what we're going to do now, is obviously I'm going to clean up this mess, because we know that works. We're going to try the roller for your feet. Right, which, one's, which one? I think, me personally, I think that might be a bit too harsh. So I'm going for this one. The instructions are not very clear on what exactly these devices actually do and what I mean is I have no idea what that does I'm sure there's people out there who do but I don't know what that does so with that I'm going to move the camera about and um, yeah I'm going to have a go at doing my feet clean this up first though back in a second right for those people who don't like feet time to look away Right, one of the things it does say in the manual is you ha only do it for one to two seconds at a time. So we're going to try it at slow speed. High speed. Oh, he's coming off. Oh, it is, look. It doesn't even hurt. Right, I'm going to try the other roller. <laughs> Let me get my feet down. Look! Not sure if you can see that, but it definitely works. Set it down, because that's got to be clean now. Put that in. Turn it 
to it again. Slow speed. Just doing gentle pressure. Well. <laughs> Definitely working. Oh, yeah, definitely works. What's this do? I'm starting to use this thing. I've no idea what it does. We'll have a quick go. Oh my god. It's a torture chamber. No idea what that does, <laughs> but that's scary. Well, it definitely works anyway. Whatever is happening, definitely works. I like these two. Not sure if I like that one. That's because I don't know what it actually does. I'm sure someone will tell me one day. So, uh, back to you then, Yorkie. Before I tell you what I think of this little device, something to bear in mind. Make sure you read these instructions because there is some very important information in here. It might not tell you what all the heads are called and it might not actually show you how to use the different heads, but it's not rocket science on how to work it out. But there is some important information in there, and one of them is you only use this one to two second strokes at a time and do not apply any pressure. It does tell you in there. And if you have certain skin conditions, also make sure you read this. That is very important. They have gave you some good advice in here before using it. So make sure you read it. So what do I think? Yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. I think my wife's going to be really pleased with this. Obviously, I'm going to have to clean it and sterilise it before she can use it. Most of the heads are all washable. Well, all the heads are washable, actually. So, yeah. I'm sure she can be very happy. Like I said, I've tried it, it works on me, it took off my hairs off my hands. So yeah, definitely gives my thumbs up and uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I was about to clean it now.